Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create lib files so your NPCs can move their lips and the dialogue can be skippable. For this we're going to use Silent Voice Generator. You can download it from here. I'm going to put the link in the description of the video. Keep in mind that you have to download 7-zip to be able to uncompress this. Once we download it, we're going to go to Silent Voice Generator and we're going to change some things. For example, on Game, we're going to click in in Fallout 4 because this is a game that we're using and the audio output make sure to click X W M make sure to also click on generate lip sync that way your NPCs will move their lips when they speak and lastly on the output directory you're going to put C program files steam steam apps common and Fallout 4 you have to do this exactly this output otherwise if you choose another directory it may generate them somewhere else and the game won't be able to find them. So once we have this set up, we can add files. But before we do that, if we haven't done so already, we want to export the dialogue. To do that, we go to our quest, we click on the quest and it will open the quest window. Now we go to quest um, data and we're going to click on export quest dialogue. I'm going to hit yes, yes and it will generate a text file. So if we go to Fallout 4 folder and open this, this is a text file and it has all our lines of dialogue. Now we go back to Silent Voice Generator, click on Add Files, click on my dialogue export, the text file, hit Open and click on Generate All. I was doing some tests before, so that's why it generated something else, but this, when it says complete, means that our dialogue and our lip files have been created. So now if we test it in the game, we should be able to see our NPCs move their lips when they talk and also skip the dialogue. So now I'm going to open up the quest. and test it. <laughs> oh, it looks like I'm in full screen and I cannot show you the other side. So this is playing on my other screen, so I need to move it to the other one. For that, I need to restart Fallout 4 and change the launch options to windowed mode. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Oh, where's my mouse? Okay. Now this screen is pretty small, but uh, I don't want to restart it again, so we'll work with this. We're going to COC to Red Rocket. That's where my quest start starts. Now once I load into Red Rocket, I will see an NPC. So here's my NPC. I'm going to make sure that I have my subtitles enabled. I do, alright. Hey there. So as you can see, she's talking to me and she's moving her lips. So if I say yes and click many times I will skip the lines of dialogue. Ah. See, sure. I'm skipping the lines of dialogue. And Excuse me. also, if when we look at her, she moves her mouth when she speaks. So that's basically it. Um, it's pretty simple, so hopefully this was useful to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me a Slack message or DM me.